hello guys i am about to make a video where i will be showing you all of the plants in my apartment i live in a 55 square meters apartment in stockholm sweden so i'm thinking we should start in the bedroom so in my bedroom i keep most plants in the window here that i do not really like at the moment and sometimes i switch so for example, if I will enjoy this plant a little bit more, I will move it into my uh, living room. But for now, these are the plants that I don't like too much. And in the corner here, we have a Alocasia uh, ninia. It's variegated, but it's hard to see. Uh, here I have some sort of St. Paulia. It's really cute. It's variegated. Yes, and like you saw, this is my uh, Hoya Sigillatis. Gosh, I just woke up, so <laughs> my brain is not working. But anywho, Sigillatis. And behind the curtain here, I have a Philodendron Silver Sword, which also actually showed some variegation right there. Just a little tiny variegation, but still. And moving to the side this is where i have my cabinets i am not a cabinet person so to speak but i do have this small cabinet so here i have a skin Dapsus exotica in the cabinet here i will do the cabinets kind of fast in the corner i have a mikan's halo i have a epipremnum uh, pinata marble Edansoniae. Also a African violet in the corner there. Skin Dapsus Jade Satin Variegated. One of my favorites, it's a Philodendron uh, Blizzard. Giganticum Blizzard. Some random succulent. Uh, Syngonium Chia Pens Narrow Form. I have a Philodendron Ernesti Eye. What is this? Oh, it was dirt. Phew. Uh, this is a fun guy. This is a Monstera. Hold on. Monstera Pachikutsa. It's a really, really small guy, but these leaves on this Monstera can be huge, like humongous. So hopefully it will keep growing. I also have my buddies here. Uh, Monstera Adam no, sorry. Monstera Stendliana Aurea. We got a Ring of Fire. Another African Violet and also a Platinum. Skin Labs is Platinum. Moving up, I have this Philodendron Paris Verde. Uh, it's not very variegated, but I, I don't know, I like the leaves on it. So, I have a lamp up here. And we got a new leaf coming. Yeah. And this below is my Hoya cabinet. I just did my entire Hoya collection. So, I will just sweep over here because if you saw my Hoya collection, you already seen most of these Hoyas. So I will just do it like this. So this is actually a Dishidia. So if you wonder about any names of this Hoyas, please let me know in the comments and I will give you the name.
I also have a marble queen here on my um, dresser. So we can continue here in my bathroom, which is the area where I have the quarantine plants uh, for the most part. Right now I don't have any plants in quarantine, but yes, I have a monstera. I have this philodendron narrow, I think. And if you wonder about these spots, I just sprayed all of my plants with some um, soap and water. And when it dries out, it gets a little bit, you know, like this oily. What are you? Why is it so dusty? I just cleaned it. Well, as long as there's no bugs, I don't care. I also have a Epipremnum Marble Green. We have a Philodendron Lemon Lime and a Hoya Cornusa Princess. So that's all the plants that I have in the bathroom at the moment. In my one of my hallways, I have this Hoya Cornusa. It's really, really old. I got it for free from a girl here in the community. And she said it was about 35 years old. So that's kind of cool. And also, if we turn over here, I have a Rapidophora tetrasperma. And I also have a rug. I will tell you why shortly. Okay, so moving on to the kitchen. Once again, I'm sorry for all the cords. I will manage them, but I don't have the <laughs> energy to do that right now. So here in the corner, I have a regular Epipremnum aureum. aureum and I really like the leaves on this one it's really big really really pretty in the windowsill I have a philodendron red sun this red color is amazing this is a new leaf and then it fades out to this darker color and then it fades out to uh, green. And beside it, I have a Sigillatis SPF, SPF Sigillatis round leaf. That is why I call it. And I also have a cutting that was sold to me as SPF Sigillatis round leaf. But I also know this is sold as Sigillatis GPS 7240. And yeah, from Borneo, there's a lot of names for this guy. And here we have a Hoya Shok, or Shoke, or Shoki. I have no clue. It's really cute. I really like it in this uh, pot. Moving on, I have a Hoya Pubicalix Pink Splash, and why it's called Pink Splash is because when it gets sun stressed, these splashy leaves get pink. It's almost purpley, but I think you get the picture. This is one of my oldest Hoya. I think I've had it for about four years now, and I've been taking a lot of cuttings to keep it in this form because I don't want it to be too big. Here I have another cabinet and I also want to show you this ring of fire. This ring of fire is sold to a friend of mine so I'm going to ship that out to her next week. Look at that. So gorgeous. Like three, one, two, three half moons almost. So, yeah, got some other stuff there. So in this cabinet, or what you call it, greenhouse, I keep the plants where I can fit anywhere else, or if they're new, or if they need really high humidity. So I have a lot of Anthurium Beccari seedlings, like a lot of them. And this is a Anthurium Genmanii. I got some Bessie crossed with Crystallinum over there. 
some philodendron patriciae, uh, Anthurium nigrinalinum, GG. Got some Monstera, some Hoyas. This is a uh, Monstera type constellation. Syngonium, some Begonia. This is just a bunch of random stuff in here. Snowdrift, orange marmalade. Another Ninium, Ocasia. This is definitely variegated. So I'm keeping it, but I don't like it. Got some Hoyas in the background. And yeah. So entering the living room. This is where I have most of my plants, as you can see. And also, no, I don't have a rug at the moment. I do have one here, but I am indecisive. So I don't know if I want to keep this one or not. So that's why it looks so empty. And also this little box is for Napoleon, my cat. Um, so yeah, let's get started. In the corner where you enter the living room, I have a Jose Bueno with very low variegation, but it's because it's very dark in this corner. I don't have any, hello. I don't have any extra lighting or it's quite far from the windows too. But it's growing, so I still like it a lot. In this shelf, I have a Hoya Berticellata Splash. And also a very good book for my Swedish viewers. I could highly recommend this book. Mm, Ethereum Bocacensi. This is one of the guys that I got from Echo Genera just a few weeks ago. It's doing okay. I had to cut a bit of this leaf because it was very ugly and I don't like ugly leaves. I don't know if I have a phobia for it but I just don't like it. So I will probably cut this whole leaf off eventually but I'm trying not to do that right now. But it, it looks pretty okay I think. Up here I have my Anthurium gracile. Show you a better lighting, maybe. There you go. It has a lot of berries that I need to take care of, but I think this plant is so cool. I actually love the roots. It's like an orchid or something. It looks weird, and I like that. And it's doing really good. Here you can see the Pocacensi maybe in another better light. There you go. And if we look down, I have a regular Epipremnum mandula or happy leaf. Philodendron. Um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time pronouncing this plant. Philodendron spadiorum. I actually love this plant. It's really simple and glossy and I love it. I think it looks really cute. I also, I also love the plant that I had it in. So I really like it. Some cacti variegated. I don't know anything about cacti. And if we move up, these rocks, they glow in the dark. Yeah. So here is my philodendron Dean McDowell. This is a new leaf from a cutting that I placed in here. And this is like the mother plant. I also have placed a, a light oh, up here to shine some lights at least on these plants. So moving on to my favorite number one, my Monstera green on green large form. Some people are telling me this is a Aurea, 
but I still think it's a green on green. Please tell me what you think. So the first leaf has some variegation over there and just some splashes. The second leaf had even less variegation, even though it's a really big, beautiful leaf. And the third leaf had more variegation again, but it's looking very, very funky and weird. But with a third leaf. So I'm very excited. Moving up, I have my Anthurium Bakery, the mother to all the babies in the little greenhouse. She is not flowering at the moment, but she is producing leaves like crazy. I don't know if it's too dark, I don't know. Hopefully not. And then over here, I have also a regular Epipremnum. Philodendron Mexicanum, Mexicanum, yes. With the red backside. In the lobes. And next to that is my Alasterlitzia variegated, which is <laughs> it's leaning a lot. I need to stabilize it, but I don't have energy to do that either. So, but yes, it's a very variegated version. I tried to sell this one on Facebook Marketplace and also in different like plant groups but no one wanted it so I have to keep it so moving forward I have my philodendron esmeraldensi which is doing really good also popping leaves like crazy, but of course I damaged one of the leaves. So yeah, well, what's that sound? I am just closing the door. Okay, moving on. <laughs> we have a Epipremnum Cebu Blue. A really big guy it's a bit bare on the bottom and then it goes crazy at the top but that's okay I don't really care Hoya Australis Albo variegated or something got some new leaves coming Hoya Matilde splash Crimson Queen. I do have a quite big Hoya Camphorifolia, which is growing up in my lamp. Oh, yeah, I got a dead piece right up there. It's been there for a year, I think. Hoya Australis uh, Lisa. And also a ficus moonshine, I think. Chiburiana moonshine. I have my Monstera. This is not a large form, it's a small form. I would like a large form, the regular green, but this will do. My studies. Up here, I have a like a nose, no, sorry, Coniana silver. Mike in screen form. Really like this plant. Croniana splash. Dishiria um, ovata, I think. Watermelon. I have a latifolia, just normal green one, but it has some cool splashes. And then we have my philodendron Linhanonia CF. This leaf is amazing. We have a new leaf coming right there. Look, it's so cute. 
the oldest leaf is looking okay, but it's dying on me, I think. I have it next to the humidifier, but yeah. But I'm hopeful for the new leaves. I think they will do fine in my apartment. Right now it's not too, yeah, 62. So that's pretty good. My newest addition, Anthurium corrugatum. Corrugatum. Uh, Anthurium corrugatum. Corrugatum. Whatever. Look at these guys. Look at them. So cool. I think there is a new leaf coming there. And uh, my billetier. I am trying so hard to train this billetier to go a bit up because right now it usually hangs down and the leaves are touching the ground, but I tied it up and I hopefully it will be trained to go more upwards. I mean, the light is up here, so it should. So yeah, it's really cool. Okay, in this windowsill, I have a Hoya Carnosa, just a regular one. Um, Hoya SPF Bertoni Variegated. That's nothing. Um, <laughs> got a little tiny cacti. Ernest D.I. Red, I believe. Yes, Ernest D.I. Red. It's all dust. I just, I get very anxious too when I see stuff on my plants when I film it like this, but it's all just dust, thankfully. So the leaf on this uh, philodendron gets very dark red and then it then it gets like greener, but the veins are still red, so. And next to that one, I have a philodendron bronze. And you can see why it's called bronze on the new leaf. It comes out quite like red bronzy color and then turn into more bronze and then goes over to green and up here it's a little dark i don't know i have a regular hoya matilda down here i have a philodendron sodroy we just got this new leaf and there are a new leaf coming no sorry this is the new leaf and there are more leaf. There is one more leaf coming. We have my Pride and Joy Philodendron Plowmanii. One of the forms of Plowmanii, I don't know which one. But this is like the greener one, it does not have too much splash going on. I <laughs> absolutely love this plant. Had some irrigation as well, so that's kind of cute. And if you follow this stick down, you have one of my newer plants, which I had to give some support. It's a glory, uh, sorry, philodendron pink glory, which is a hybrid between gloriosum and linamii. And why I love this plant so much is that Gloriosum, it's a gorgeous plant, but I feel like the leaves are a bit thin. And these leaves on this hybrid is a little bit thicker, a little bit more tough. And also the new leaves are coming in like Linamii. They are like, um, how do you describe it? Really, really pink, like almost red when they're new. This leaf is not so new anymore. It's almost hard enough but the new leaves will come out really, really pink. So I got this plant like yesterday <laughs> and I really, really love it. 
And then we have my third pride and joy in this household, my Philodendron Florida Beauty. I've been trying to get the leaves to come this way instead of in like the, the walls. So it might look a bit funky to you, but I really love it. And the first leaf on this plant, when I got it, it was all green, but I chopped it twice. And after I chopped it the second time, it's producing the most gorgeous variegated leaves. I mean, the newest leaf is this one. And we also have a new coming here. I will not break it, but I just think we could see some variegation there, right? Yes. Yeah. And down there in the dark, <laughs> we have my GG, Ethereum GG. Actually, I want this to be more present. Look at that new leaf. Why are you standing over there in the dark? It's a bullshit. You should be showing off. Do we have a new leaf coming there? Yes. And also here in the dark, I have my variegated Philodendron Squamiferum, which is also putting out a new leaf, which I am so excited about. So it has um, green on green variegation. We have a little cacti over there. And next to Gigi, we have Epipremnum pinatum variegated. I love these bigger leaves. Then we have a Vaichi. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this Vaichi or if I have to return it because I got the wrong one. But yes. Then we have SP Columbia, uh, Philodendron Felix. And down here we have a Mykins, which had a meeting with the vacuum today. Yep, that can happen. So I will give you a quick overview here in my living room. And I'm sorry that it's dark. It's actually raining outside. So yeah. So that's my entire plant collection. Some of you that are following me on Instagram might be surprised. Maybe a lot of you think that I have way more plants than I do. Uh, when I started my plant collection, I had within a year or two years, maybe over 350 plants. That's not how I like it. <laughs> I like to have a lot of plants, but I also want it to be like not too much if you know what i mean so this is to me enough and if i buy more plants i try to sell some plants just because i don't want it to be too crowded or too much to do so that was my entire plant collection uh, i hope you liked this video and i am wishing you a happy weekend